Hi, Hiram here. Uh, some of you may have noticed that in my other channel, my older channel, I've been re-editing and re-uploading some videos on some of these coddle stoves. The reason for that is uh, some of these videos I uploaded back in 2008 and stupidly I used some music like Happy Trails and some other stuff, some really old songs and stuff and the music police just don't like that. So a lot of those old videos were marked uh, video blocked in some countries like this. So what I've been trying to do is editing out the music, re-uploading them for people because had a lot of requests for them. But it's for these coddle stoves. This is my coddle stove one and two. That's what I called them at the time, coddle stoves. I know now they're coddle burners. What did what happened was I was making a bunch of stoves with the uh, oh and I don't have one here with the coddle bottles where I was making something out of the bottom I have a bunch of these tops so I was trying to think of something to do with it and I thought hmm maybe I could make a kind of a what turned out to be a chimney stove that the alcohol goes in here with this on it uh, had holes here on the side so when I light it the flames come up through like this at the time I hadn't seen sites like Zen and the art of the alcohol stove I'll put a link down below to it if you don't know that site you really should check it out but uh, I found that Nivea can bottoms I've made some stoves with these things they're uh, a face cream I guess yeah some sort of face cream got a bunch of these tins for real cheap and I found that it fits on the bottom like it was made for it so I did a bunch of tests with it using at the time using coffee pots from Goodwill and the dreaded Heine pot that what did I get anyway uh, the Heine pot I did my test with these things but since I've been uploading these uh, rehashed out videos I've had requests to do tests the way I do now. So I'm going to test my coddle stove too. Now, when I first did this, here, let me put some alcohol in here. This is one that uses denatured alcohol. In this case, I'm using methanol. Just put it in the bottom tin. Just light it. Can you see that? Yep. And then this goes over top. Now the idea is that the flames are burning on the inside. Let me see if I can get this with camera two. Okay, I think you can see there that the flames are burning on the inside and coming up out. This is what I would have called a chimney stove. And this is the way I intended to use it. But, okay, let that build up a little bit. But then I got people like uh, Nate over at World Stove telling me, instead of using it like this, why don't I put the pot with a pot stand, like so. This is the way I intended to do it. Uh, people were saying, use this. This is a cat stove, a low-power side burner. So I could just put my pot right on this. And lo and behold, that's what it was. It's just kind of a fancy, what they call now a uh, low pressure side burner or a super cat or a cat stove. One made out of a cat food can. Boy, I really got to get myself organized here. Kind of like this. This is one where I've been playing with the cat stoves, putting wicks on them. But the original cat stove was just a cat food tin with holes punched in it and your pot set on like that. So what I'm going to try today is I'm going to try this the way I originally meant it with a pot stand using my Boy Scout pot. So what I'll do now is I'll let this burn out and cool off, get my water prepped, 
and I'll be back for a quick test. Okay, I have my water prepped. Two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees. I have 30 milliliters of methanol in here. That's about one fluid ounce. Let me, it won't hold much more than that, if, if anything. But I might be able to extend it by putting uh, a coil of carbon felt in there if I needed to. Let's light this. Okay, that's lit. Put the cover on. Pot stand. Now it's about one inch between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 94 degrees. Not exactly the fastest burner around. Uh, you can see it's got a nice wide spread on the flame. I'm not sure if this, uh, if the uh, pot stand should be a little bit taller. Maybe. But uh, nice blue flame. And let's see where it goes from here. We're now at about six and a half minutes. The temperature is only up to 175. Uh, I don't. I hope it'll show up on the camera. But the pot stand itself is starting to get red hot. So that means it's taking heat away from the burner. Hmm. I really thought this would do much better than this, but now it kind of looks like the uh, pot stand is absorbing some of the heat. But let's see if this gets to boiling. There we have 210. To 11. Come on. To 12 in 9 minutes, 11 seconds. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 9 minutes and 11 seconds. Room temperature is 62, humidity 44. Sunny and breezy out. So now let's see how long it takes for run out. And there it's going. Going gone, let's say, at 14.08. So run out at 14.08. Interesting. I really would have thought that that would go for much quicker. Sorry, had to get a glove. Okay, let me take this off. Bottom's clean, so no soot or anything. <clears throat> I don't know if this... Now, the burner itself is what? 1.66 inches tall, or 4.2 centimeters, and it weighs 0.38 ounces, or 10.7 grams. But I'm not sure, that made it one, an inch, rather, from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot, but I'm not sure if that was far enough. As it went on, the heat was, the flame was coming out and hitting the pot stand and turning that red hot. So that meant that was losing some of the heat there. What I'll do now is let this stuff all cool down. And in my next test, I'll use this as a cat stove where the pot will sit right on the burner. So I thank you for watching. I hope this helps the people that asked for this. Oh, a little recount here. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 62, humidity 44. It's uh, sunny and breezy out. Water came to a boil in 9 minutes and 11 seconds. And then the 30 milliliters of methanol, or about a fluid ounce, ran out in 14 minutes 8 seconds. So that meant we would have at least had uh, disinfected water. And a little bit extra for cooking with. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.